Costa Rica, I'm Tony. Today we are at Nyaka Waterfall. It's the most visited waterfall in all of Costa Rica. And I'm gonna hike that sucker from the bottom to the top. First step is paying our ticket here. So we're gonna go inside, buy a ticket. We'll find out how much it costs. And then we're gonna drive down to the bottom, park the car, see if there's parking costs and cruise up there, see how long it takes. And I'm gonna get wet in a waterfall in Costa Rica on Semana Santa. Let's go. All right, we're inside where you buy the ticket, which is on the side of the road, plenty of parking outside. It's 10 bucks a person to walk. You can do all sorts of different options. If you want to jump on the back of like a Jeep thing, they'll carry your ass all the way up there if you want. Or you can get on a horse. They do ATV tours. There's lots of different options. I'm going to walk it because I need the exercise. Now we've got about 3.3 kilometers to get to the waterfall. It's a pretty easy hike, um, nothing tricky. You could do it in flip flops, but I definitely wear shoes my third time. On the hike, you're gonna see some pretty red stuff. One thing that's red is bamboo. A lot of bamboo, huge bamboo, a lot of bamboo. shoes my talk about blah 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 and flip-flops was not true I've never done this in flip-flops uh, the last two times I did it I think I was this hot and sweaty too I just forgot so definitely wear shoes on this hike and make sure you bring water I brought a pocket full of nuts as well <laughs> Alright, welcome, bienvenidos, I think I said that right, to the Nyaka Waterfall. It was founded in 1992. Pretty sweet job they've done here. The infrastructure is amazing. I think the horse ride up seems pretty good right now. <laughs> but I do prefer walking than riding in the back of a bus. We decided that that was mainly for grandmas and grandpas that couldn't make the hike. When you get to this part, you can either go to the lower one, which is the rad one for swimming, or you can go to the upper one. The upper one's got a salty station, it's super rad, so do the upper one first. It takes like two minutes to get there, and then go down to the lower one, so let's go.
back a waterfall. Pretty amazing, obviously. We're gonna go jump in, swim around. You can even climb up the waterfall and jump off. Um, and then there's also these really cool uh, little areas you can wade down in here and just relax. Back a waterfall. was Nyaka Waterfall. It was an amazing experience, definitely a half day trip. Um, swimming in there was fantastic. The waterfall was so refreshing. Um, the, whole, the whole thing was an amazing experience. I can see why it's the number one most visited waterfall in all of Costa Rica. Definitely check it out. It's uh, something you just need to bring water, tennis shoes for hiking, and a smile with an optimistic outlook on life and you're gonna have a great time. Thanks for watching. Uh, Puda Vida.